So what I'm gonna have you do is shorten up more on your reins. And it's hard because everybody's not, you know, they're not used to riding with contact, but yeah. he'll go much better if we ride him with contact and show him what to do. Yep. And then you're pretty good there. Just keep your upper body just kind of straight up for now. The only time we'll kind of lean forward is if they're getting on the pacey side. And right now at the walk, he's totally fine. So his first gate should be a flat walk. That's actually what he's doing right now. So he's not doing like a slow trail walk, but that's perfectly fine. As you go around these turns, you just want to kind of squeeze and relax on your right rein, which is the inside rein or the rein towards me. Because every time you get over there, he does what he just did. He looks at that mare. And you're trying to keep his attention on you. So as we go faster, the circle stays smooth. Right now, you kind of get there and he zigzags. So you're just trying to keep everything together and so he knows. If he speeds up like that horse ran up behind him, sit back a little because if you lean forward it makes them go faster because they're trying to catch your weight and you just kind of squeeze and relax on the rein. So we'll kind of see what he does as he goes faster but if he is on the pacey side then we're gonna have to bring his head way down. If they're on the trotty side, then sometimes where his head is might be okay. Yep. So bend your elbow a little bit more and squeeze and relax on that right rein, that's it. Th so the turn was better, but we're, and then use a little leg, don't let him talk to that horse, yep. So it's just like your car and people don't always get that. I go, you wouldn't let your car swerve over and talk to your neighbor, would you? And they go, no. And then I go, well, why are you letting your horse do it? Because you don't know that mare. She could reach over and just bite him. So you want to stay a little bit away from that fence and then make sure he's paying attention to you and he's not focusing on that horse. Yep. You're good right there. So right about now, just start squeeze and then relax on your inside rein and then do it again. Yep. And then a little leg and do it again till he gets his attention back on you. So that, and again, so you were good until that one right spot and then he turned his head and he said, no, I'm gonna look at her. So what you have to do is as you get over there, be a little bit stronger so he doesn't want to look at her. You're gonna make it harder on him. Yep. Bend your elbow just a little bit more. You have contact, but it's very soft and he's getting a little loop. So it's real easy for him to turn his head and do what he wants. If you have more contact, you'll feel him start to turn and you can correct it before it gets too bad. So squeeze, relax on that inside ring, keep it up, keep it up. Don't let him look over there. That's much better. Okay, now stop him. So let me see how he stops, yep. And then can you back him up and just look over his ears. Okay, good. All right. Now you can walk back off. So all of that is good. The only thing, bad thing I see about him right now is just his head carriage and him not paying attention. Yep. But you're good. He has a clear four beat, you know, footfall under him. He's not pacing or anything like that. So now he's slowed down more towards a trail walk. So go just a tiny bit faster. And the hardest part with their gates, especially is the flat walk, is just keeping that same speed all the way around your circle and keeping them paying attention. Lean back just a tiny bit, yep. Some of the time you tend to fall forward and the horses that are forward will go forward to catch your weight. So anything that's a little fast, unless they're gating bad, you wanna sit back, breathe, and anytime something happens, think of leaning back and not leaning forward. Okay, go just a little bit faster. So just a little bit more squeeze with your cat. Right there is good. Yep. And then push him out just a little with your right leg, your inside leg, so he doesn't cut in. And anytime you push them out, a lot of these horses that don't understand those things, you have to hold the rein as you do it. Because if you don't, he thinks go forward because he doesn't know how to go sideways. So to teach him, to move off your leg and go sideways. Anytime he's cutting in and we're gonna push him over with your leg, you wanna pull a little on that rein so his only option is to go sideways and not go forward. It's not like he's being bad, he just doesn't understand. So we just gotta help him with that. You're doing good with your rein, yep. 
Okay, so now ask him to go a little bit faster so I can see what he does. So don't go real fast. Okay, so just keep that right there. Yep, and then more inside rein or right rein and lean back a little bit. Yeah, and then just ask him again. So he actually goes more kind of towards a step pace. Try it again. Yeah, so he's kind of skipping over his running walk. That's better. Okay, so now go ahead and stop him. Oh, okay. So to get him to do more of a running walk, which is just like your flat walk, but faster, we got to bring his head down because what he's doing as soon as you go from the flat walk and you try to go faster he comes up more with his head he inverts his back and so he starts swinging his legs okay. and again that's usually because somebody rode him like that so they don't know so what we want him to try to do is bring his head down relax his back and just walk faster and not change his gait so much and that's part of what i didn't understand how to bring his head down yes and he probably doesn't know <laughs> so that's okay so we'll try to do it while you're up there and just kind of see so all i'm going to do i'm going to pull on the rein and i'm going to turn his head just to see hi if he knows how to do lateral flexion and we'll just do it a couple times before we try to bring his head back and then we're going to pull just a little on this rein so when they're sensitive i just do it lightly because if you do it too hard they start spinning I've worked on that and he's this side is more good boy hesitant but i can get him in where he doesn't move anymore oh good so go ahead and try it on this side then boy. yeah Ran out of that's okay no he he actually went far enough so with the walking horse, you don't have to wrap their heads all around they're so flexible if you do then their back end starts moving so now try it on the other side and as you do it, just try and pull it back towards the top of your hip, which is okay. called the iliac crest, instead of going out and then okay. back. Yep. And then release sooner. So try it again. Um, yeah, either side. Okay. Now release. Yep, because he's trying. You're too slow. You still didn't release. Okay. <laughs> So think of like, a, when I say release, go like this with your hand. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. So try it with this hand and we want it to be like a hot potato when we release, release. Yeah, that's it. And then try it again on the other side. Because if we hold and we don't release quick enough, they don't understand that's the right answer. And then they start pulling. That was good. And then do it again on this side. Good. And then release and try it again on the other side. So we're making sure he understands when we pull on the bit that he's supposed to give to it good okay so now we're going to try and get his head down so what we're going to do i'm going to kind of help you i'm going to yeah. hold in front of your hands but you keep holding okay so i'm going to hold on him and then when he brings his head down he's thinking about it i'm just going to give and i'm going to do it again i'm going to hold i'm just trying to find yep. it go that way <laughs> and then we're going to do it again so we're going to hold Okay, and then we're gonna release. Okay, so while you're just standing there, go ahead and pick up your contact and just try to get his head down. So you're gonna hold, release, yep. All right, try it again. So hold, lift your hand up, yep. Just wait for it. He's got his tongue over the bit. That's okay, yep, so ask him again. Okay, so now release. Like that, do you let it go? I mean, release yeah, you can because away. in the beginning you're just trying to get the idea across, and then as we do it more, we'll try to get it straight. So now let your reins go loose for a second. Will you, I'm going to make your bit higher because he keeps trying to get his tongue over the bit, and it's just it's a tiny bit low. It's not okay, bad, I wondered about that. but he's this uh, bit actually puts like a lot of pressure on their tongue and their bars. So we're trying to get it so he can't escape it that way the only way he can do it is to put his head down okay so now try it again so ask him to put his head down lean back yep and pull more a little on your right rein tighten your fingers more now hold your right rein more than your left it's okay if he backs up, don't give in. Keep holding your right rein a little more. Now release. 
Yep. So, and this is the hard part with your hands when you pick up contact. You want to just pick up contact and be here. You don't want to pick up contact, be here, then here, and then here. Because all that change, he feels pulling in his mouth. Even you holding on the reins right now is teaching him to pull on the bit. So anytime okay. we're talking, you got to kind of push your hands Please forward. Yeah. Okay. So now ask him to put his head down again. Good. Yep. So the hard part is when we go and we start to gate him, we have to get this at his flat walk first. Mm -hmm. And what he's going to do is as you put pressure on the bit, he's going to put his head up, mm -hmm. his body's going to go left or right, and then it's going to go the other way. And what you have to do is keep holding the same contact. If he starts to go left, you block with your left leg. If he starts to go right, you block with your right leg. And then once he puts his head down, you're going to release. If he stops, it means we have not enough leg on him. If he's going too fast, it means it's too much leg and we're not holding enough. But we have to be able to do it at the slow speed before we do it at the fast speed. So go ahead and ask him to walk. Yeah. And what we're gonna do first, just to make sure it's really down, is I'm gonna have you walk and then we're gonna stop and ask him to get his head down. So right now, lean back a little bit. Yep. Shorten your reins a little bit more. Okay. So now I'm gonna have you stop him and then hold and wait for his head to come down. No, that, no, that was horrible. <laughs> you wanna do it the same you did it in here, but out there you're like, oh, you can be bad, I don't care. So we want his head to come down like five inches. Okay. So hold again, ask him for his head to come down. Just wait, wait, wait. But this is how they get the wrong idea because you release at the wrong moment. So you keep holding, wait till his brain comes back. It's gonna take a while because now he's distracted by that horse and now he's trying to get his tongue over the bit. You keep holding, now release, yep. Now straighten his head though. Okay, so now I ask him to walk off. Don't worry about his head placement right now. You just worry about steering. But what we're gonna do again in a minute is stop him and you're gonna keep holding till his head comes down. So it's not like we wanna hold till he stops. We wanna hold till he stops and his head comes down. Okay, I'm gonna have you stop him now. So hold, don't give in. Just wait it out, wait it out. A little more right rein. R more right rein. Yep, it's okay. Let him back up if he backs up. Don't give in. More right rein. He's trying to find the answer. You're just telling him, no, that's not it. More right rein. More right rein. Yep. He's looking to the left because he must have got a release somewhere in his life. And so he thinks if I turn it left, it, she's going to let go. Now release a little. Now ask him again, because that was the right direction. He just didn't do it all the way. Now release, yep. Even if he's pulling, it's okay, because he started to put his head down. Now you're gonna walk off again. Yep, lean back, yep. As you walk off, you kind of fall forward some of the time, and it might be him thrusting you because he has a big back end, but you want to compensate for it. Okay, now we're gonna stop again. So sit back, hold, release a little, because he went the right direction, yep and then hold again. At least he's not spooky. Now release again, and then go ahead and walk off. So it's not all the way down, but at least it's the right direction. Yeah. Lower your hands just a tiny bit. So you kind of want your hands the top of your hip, which is uh, or the top of the pelvis. So they don't have to be way up here. They just should be here. So they're lining up with your hips here. Okay, so let's stop them again. Lean back a little bit. Now release. Yep, good boy. Now give him a little scratch. Good job. Okay, so now you're going to walk off again. Yep. So we want this good before we start making a walk with his head down. Okay, so try another stop here and then hold and wait for his head. Good, good job. Give him another little scratch so he knows that's the right thing. Yep, and it's much straighter, so it doesn't need to be perfect, it's better. Now ask him to walk off again. Good, and much better with your body and then tilt forward. And that's okay. He's like, you wanna stop again? You wanna get out of this gate so we get away from that? <laughs> All right, so now stop him again.
God, good boy. And again, give him another scratch. So he has it pretty decent, so we'll try it. So now what I'm gonna have you do is walk off. And then when I tell you, I'm gonna tell you to put pressure on the reins. As you do, you have to squeeze a little with your legs, because if you don't, he's gonna think stop. And what our point is now is we want you to walk, drop your head, but then keep walking. Okay, so go ahead and ask him to walk off. Okay, keep your upper body back. Okay, so what I'm gonna have you do is now pull a little on the rein, but squeeze with your leg at the same time and hold till his head drops down. Hold, lean back, hold more with your right rein, pull harder, pull harder, yep. Keep waiting, keep pulling, lean back. So we're trying to increase the pressure till he figures it out, pull more. Yep, because somewhere in there, your fingers are loosening up and he's getting a release, so he's not trying to bring it down at all. Now more right rein. Keep leaning back. Try to tighten your buttocks a little bit, like squeeze your butt together to increase the pressure, but don't let them go faster. So stop him and ask him for his head down because he's not getting it. Your hands are way too high. There you go. Good. Okay, now release a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna walk off and we're gonna pick up pretty quick to try to get him to associate it. So go ahead and walk off, hold pressure, hold pressure, pull harder, lean back. Hold your right rein a little more, lean back. Go slower, so pull more, lean back. Okay, now stop him. Okay, I'm gonna have you jump off for a second. I'm gonna make it easier for you. I'm gonna get on him and just get him so he knows how to put his head down. You're doing good, I just don't want your whole lesson be trying to get his head down. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> huh, buddy. I need to check Is it okay? Again. It's new. I don't have a real feel for where it has to go. Uh, I think it's okay. <sighs> so he's going right, and I just stuck my right leg into him when he was doing that. I know. Go boy. So he's not getting it, so I'm trying to make him bring his head down really far at the standstill. So he hopefully will make a connection. Go in here. Let's go the other way.
Good job, buddy. Good boy. What a good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, so some, you know, people probably pulled on him. And so he thought he's supposed to put his head up and pull back to protect himself. And sometimes one direction's easier than the other. That's why I was like, let's just go the other way. And it, it's harder to steer in the circle, but it makes it harder to um, keep his head up versus going straight. Good oh boy. Go oh boy. Go oh boy. Go oh boy. He's kind of drifting, so that's why I have this left rein like opening. Good job. Oh boy, thank you for the good boy. You got it, you can do it. You can do it. Good boy. Good job. So now, now that he's doing the right gate, your bridle is smacking him in the eye. Watch when his head shake. Well, now I got to see that, that little edgy thing. We'll fix it. But we have to fix that. Good boy. So, and I'm doing a lot with my legs. He cuts into the right, and then I also have a spur on, so he can't lean on my leg like he can on yours. The Go. legs, I've never mastered. Oh, that. your legs, yeah. So, with, with him to help get his head down, I have to keep pushing with my right leg because he keeps leaning that way. So, I'm holding him. Oh boy. So when you get on, I'm gonna have you push with your, so you see where my right leg is? Yeah. It's gonna be hard, but you're gonna try to push with your right leg and then hold. My reins are a little long right now. But what we want is his head down there and then his gate's right there. All we have to do is speed up and keep his head down. But see, he's cutting in. You can do it. No. And not letting go when he's like, no, I want to do that. You know, he wanted to throw his head up. So this is his running walk, but it'll be faster once he's not goofing around. Good boy. So he keeps trying just to get his head back up, but when they're doing their flat walk in the running walk, you'll feel a back and forth motion. When he's doing a rack, you'll feel a little wiggle in the saddle. But it's gonna be better for his um, back and neck to have it down and relax. So like there was very good and then he just lost it.
but he's still drifting to the right. Well, good boy. What a good job. Good job. So when I'm on him, when I go that way, he cuts to the right. When I go this way, he drifts out to the right. So that just means he's weaker on that side, but you'll have to hold him because if you don't, he'll drift that way and his head will come up. I'm, oh yeah, I'm not pumping. It might look like it because I'm moving with the horse. Right. Not on purpose, he just right. makes you move. But I'm trying to stay perfectly still and hold. Yeah, with these guys, it's hard. A lot of people get taught to give to their mouth. And then with that head shake and all this, they end up, they think they're doing a nice thing, but they're taking the pressure off the bit, engaging it, taking it off, and, and it actually starts pulling on their mouth. So you just try to stay still and then they'll work off of it. And it depends what breed, but the ones that are shaking their head, oh, look at that. So he figured it out. Yep. You're usually much better just trying to keep your hands still. And I have my hands wide just because he's getting crooked. So right now he's fine. So that's why I'm just leaving him alone. And this is just his flat walk. But a lot of the walking horses are wiggly, and he is. He's not bad compared to some. They're real crooked. But every time I go to put pressure, the first thing he thinks is up, but now he's getting better. He's like, oh, down. And I, so that's the nice thing. The horses can be taught pretty fast, but then it's you trying to get it from him and then being consistent. If you get this today, but then you go home and ride him just the way you were, it'll go away again. <laughs> So even if you're on trail, you want to be like, I want to get his head down and then I'll leave him alone. And then the other thing is every time you stop, try to stop and get his head down. Don't let him throw his head back up. Okay, now I'm going to go back the other way because that to your left is easier. So once you get on, I'll have you go that way. This way, oh, you made me a liar. There he goes. But he just didn't understand. <clears throat> and he'll be much happier once he learns, like, oh, I don't have to have my head up and my neck tense and all of that. Good boy. Oh my God, he has the coolest white streak. Yeah. But that's cool that it happened in his mane. Okay. So I might have you have your hands a little wide till he gets it. And then in time, you'll just ride like this. But you can, if he's not doing it, just hold it wide. But I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm going to, I'm doing. And it's going to sound crazy how much I'm doing. So he's leaning to the right. So right leg. Now he went left with his shoulder. So I brought my right leg back and my left leg's at his shoulder. He's still a little crooked. So I'm squeezing and relaxing on the right rein. His head came up. Now I pulled a little bit on my left rein while I did that. So he's still cutting in. So it's right leg. And my hands are actually pretty light. It's more leg and seat than with my hands. So every time he brings it up, he's dropping into the right. So when he brings it up, you're going to try and hold and try to dig with your right leg. But your legs were up here a little bit. So you're going to have to try to bring them back so he can feel them. So now his head's down and he's pretty relaxed. So now I'm going to give him back to you. Whoa, whoa. So he didn't bring it up that much when he stopped. Good boy. And now it's much easier to bring it down. But when you get on, you're going to feel totally different. And he's going to be like, bing, his head's back up. But it's okay, because if he doesn't, I have things we can put him in to help you to get his head down. Yeah, it's hard. See what? that it's too high but yes but it's happen. hard yeah because when he's going right now his head is up at your chest which mm -hmm. is good with trotty horses but not when they're getting pacey yes yeah. and that's his inclination the yeah. Time. yeah so your leg right now is up on his shoulder mm -hmm. so when we're asking him to put his head down it's got to be back here yes okay. and that's the hard part it's normally supposed to be here anyhow your heel's supposed to be under your shoulder some saddles though push your These leg forward two. so yeah so if it is I'll keep saying but you just do what you can okay so what we're going to do first is go that way okay. to the left because it's easier okay. but look up and lean back 
that's it so you're just going to go back into the circle but going this direction yep and immediately we're going to try to get his head down so right now just hold pressure bend your elbow look up a little bit higher hold more less leg more holding <laughs> all right so hold more tighter tighten your fist like make a tight fist that's it keep holding release 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 bigger because you release i had to say it three times and then you gave a little the bigger you release the quicker he will understand that's what you want so try it again to bring his head down so hold hold more with your right rein pull on your right rein hold him with your right leg keep release yes but you did it two seconds too late but the only way to get better is practice so try it again so we're going to hold his head release because he tried it didn't come all the way down but it was in the process and we're trying to tell him that's the right thing lean back a little bit more yep anytime his head's not coming down think of holding more with your right rein and your right leg because that's the way he's drifting so pull a little bit more oh release he got me good leave him alone because his head's still down so that's a perfect flat walk that's beautiful so I'm just waiting, it's staying down. Now it's coming back up. So now hold him again, lean back, hold with your right leg. Pull more on the rein, cause they're too loopy. What's happening is he's getting to re now release. But as you're walking and you're trying to hold the contact, it's just not enough. So he gets a loop and it goes straight and a loop and it goes straight. So he's getting his own release. So we got to keep it tight enough. There's no release until his head goes down. So hold again lean back hold with your right leg and right rein hold more i know he's there release yep and i know he was slowing down but then you asked him to go and he didn't bring his head down now you're good so we just leave him alone now straighten him out so he doesn't look to the right so you can still steer even though we're not pulling much on the rein you can always just open it up so he's still fine so we're going to leave him alone all the time his head's down it's starting to come up okay so now we're going to ask him to bring it down again so hold a little firmly use more leg and seat release release there you go good job now just keep walking that's beautiful yep so you're trying to keep his head below your chest level you know you, you don't have a horn on your saddle so you're trying to think like where it's got to be below my first buckle on my vest yep so this is your flat walk right and he was going by that other horse that was more other horse that was more his running walk because he sped up over there but now he's kept his head down almost the whole time till the palomino distracted him <laughs> yeah You're good. Now it's starting to come up. So ask him to bring it back down again. Good release. Yep, it's getting much easier. Very good. <laughs> You're good. So now try a stop, but make sure you get his head down. Now release. Now let him just sit there on a loose rein and just scratch him for a minute so he knows he's doing the right thing. So that was his flat walk. I kept a couple of times he sped up and that's more towards your running walk. So with his flat walk and it's running walk, it's just get the first speed, keep his head down. And then once he's warmed up, go just a little bit faster, which we'll try in a minute. So that's the nice thing with some horses. This is all you have to do. And then you just keep the right speed. Then his racking gait should be after that. And then the step pace and the pace are after that. So okay. as you go through his speeds, the flat walk and the running walk are not super fast. Mm -hmm. The rack will be faster. The step pace and the pace can be really fast. But what you're trying to do is either have his head moving up and down where you're moving back and forth. And that's either your flat walk or running walk, depending okay. on the speed. If it's more of this, like in the saddle, but it, or it's completely smooth, that's your rack. Okay. If you feel a kind of hopping sensation, but it's smooth, that's a step pace. So if that happens, you want to try to slow it. You might be like, this is fun, but you want to try and slow it down and stay in his rack 
and over time his rack will get faster. Okay. But if you let his neck speed be the step pace, he's like, that's easier. So that's what I'm always right. going to do. And Where, I see that's harder on them. That their body wise. Yeah. So you're trying to build his strength and keep his legs separated. And then his all his gates will get faster over time. But that's what everybody speeds up too much. And they never build up their strength. And so then the horses just keep pacing, trotting, or yeah. step pacing. And I don't, I mean, we're probably 80% walking yes he walks fast enough that yeah so that's probably his flat walk and some of it might be his running walk but what you're going to try and do now if possible is when you're on the trail is constantly try to bring his head down yeah, yeah. and i can ride him more now that i have something to work on that's positively right yes i can do that now when he his fastest gait when he takes off you go up almost like you're going to a canter and then it's this and this and the tail bobbing up and down smooth and yes that what i was worried that's okay that's his rack so okay. when you feel a rack it usually feels like their back end sits down yes. the front end comes yes. up and then it's like a washing machine around you with all these legs yes that's okay, okay. okay. yes all right, so I'm going to have you try it again. So as soon as you walk off, so, you know, get walking first, but then try to bring his head down. But that's good. You're smart enough that you figured out I need to, good, good job. I need to shorten my reins up. Yep. So just stay this speed once around. And then we're gonna start to go a little faster. So what I'm gonna have you do is as much as you can without me blabbing, is try to keep his head down. So every time it comes up, try to bring it down, that's it. And then just think as you're doing it, like don't pull your hands down, just put pressure. Cause if you pull your hands down it in the end, it, it hurts the people's wrist and their elbows and the shoulders. Cause that's where all the pull is going on. If you keep your hands like hip level and just apply pressure, it's easier on your body and it's also easier on theirs because the bit's not moving in their mouth. When we do weird things with our hands, it makes the bit go up or down. You're doing a great job. Yep. For him not bringing his head down at all and like 10 minutes later, this is phenomenal. Okay. So now ask him to walk just a tiny bit faster so not much you can think it in your brain you can give a little squeeze or you can use your buttock but you just want a tiny bit more speed right there's good whoop yeah there you go Yep, there you go. So as you're going around, you'll squeeze and relax on the rein if he goes too fast. If he goes too fast, the other thing you do is take your leg off and sit back. So we're trying to do things to slow him down without pulling real hard on him. So bring his head a little bit lower and go a tiny bit faster. Good. That's a good speed. Yep. Now he slowed down. That's normal because you're at the gate. They always slow down at the gate. So every time you're getting by the gate, just a little bit more leg. But right now his head's fine. So this is your flat walk and you're just trying to keep that same speed. Now he slowed down a little and it's hard because it's a walk. So we don't feel it change much. So some people will count in their head, go a little bit faster because he got slower and he's cutting in a little to the left. But his flat walk should kind of be one, two, three, four. So a little faster than you're going. One, two, three, four. Bring his head back down. Hold that right rein and lift your hand a little. There you go. One, two, three, four. Still go a little faster. There's, oh, too much. There you go. So try to keep that speed. Now he's getting slower. They do the same thing in the same spots. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit more leg or seat. You can use either one right there. Oh, 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 good. Yep. And then don't forget that right rein. If his head's coming up, because sometimes I see a big loop in your right rein. Now a little faster. It's good that he's dropping his head, but we don't want him to slow down. So more leg because you're getting by the gate. Keep going. So a little squeeze or a little clock so he knows not to stop. 
That's good. So that's better for your flat walk, but he lost it. He only got like three steps and then he slowed down. And the hardest part, it's like driving your car five miles per hour. You gotta push a little bit and then, you know, take the pedal, your foot off the pedal. So you gotta do that with the horse, put leg on and then lighten it to try to keep him going the same speed. That's your running walk, yep. But now he has it, which he didn't have it 10 minutes ago. <laughs> little bit more leg. Good, so now we're gonna try and go a little bit faster and we're gonna do the same thing. We'll put leg on and off to keep the same speed and using your half halt. So and as you add leg, if his head comes up, you have to hold. So go ahead and ask him to go faster. Right there is good, yep, now keep that. That's your running walk, hold him, hold him, slow down, take your leg off, there you go, now push again. He had it and then he lost it. But when he got fast, your reins got a little floppy. That's better, yep. Slower, take your leg off, breathe. Yep, keep doing it over and over again. That's the only way he'll learn. So you push, when he does it wrong, we pull. Right there, you're good. Now slow him down again. Good, now stop him, whoa. Now give him a big scratch, tell him he was right. So we're trying to make sure he knows the speed we want him to go. And he doesn't. Right now he thinks, I'm not supposed to do that gait. I've never done it before. I'm going to go faster because I think that's what these people want. So we're trying to tell him, no, that gait you've never done? That's the one we want. That's a cool one. Yes. So we got to make sure he's aware. So now try it again. Every time we do this, we go to a running walk. You're going to flat walk first, then slowly speed up. Because if you just go from the stop, he'll jump all his gates and just either rack or step pace or pace. So see if you can get him back up to your flat walk. That's good with his head. Beautiful. Yeah. Now it's a nice walk. His flat walk, just so you know, should be faster than that. But er, er, And just remember, every time you add leg for speed, you might have to hold with your hand so his head doesn't come up because that's what he's used to doing. Right there is a good flat walk, yep. Keep your leg on them because the gate's coming up, yep. And if you practice in the arena, once they do this enough, they get bored. So you might have to have spurs or a stick even though you don't on the trail. That's good. Go a little faster, yep. You were very good. He dropped his head and relaxed and he slowed it down. He's like, hey, Luann, let's just go slower. She's not paying attention. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, What? that's better, yep. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yep. Now his head's coming up just a tiny bit. It's not bad. You just want to be ready in case it comes all the way up like now. Yep. And just a little more leg. You did everything right. It's just not enough leg. So I saw that he started stopping. Okay. Now let's try to go up to his running walk. And you're just going to be ready to, you know, half halt and re release your leg if he gets too fast. So there you let him go too much. So pull harder and we just start again. So as you add your leg, I want you to hold more with your hands. It's kind of like riding the gas and the brake at the same time. So ask him again, cause he went way too fast. So pull a little on the rein. That's it. Now a little more leg, keep pulling on the rein. Lean back, pull, pull. Now release a little bit. Good boy, what a good boy. Keep going. Oh, pull, pull, lean back, lift your hand up. That's it. Now leg. More leg. Get ready to hold. If he hold, hold. Good job, buddy. Yep. Now a little more leg. You got it. A little bit more leg. Now he's almost tucking his head too much. <laughs> so then you just release more with your hand and more leg. Yep. Now bring his head back down and then a little bit more leg. Yep. More more keep going there you go good job easy buddy go boy keep going don't stop at that gate hold a little there that's okay lift your hand up lean back pull more pull more you're being too nice be a little harsher like your car's running away and you're slamming on the brakes so he has to know when he does the wrong thing that's immediately wrong he doesn't get to go 20 steps in it okay. 
Yep. So it's just pulling harder and taking the leg off. When he starts doing that gait, he was just do it. So go a little faster. More. I know this is hard. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Good boy. Keep going though. Good job, buddy. And then leg as you go by the gate, but be ready to pull if he changes. Bring his head a little down. Good job. Good. Keep going. A little bit more. Be ready to pull. Pull, pull, lean back. Lift your hand up now, leg. Leg, leg, yep, that's okay. Now release a little, because his head got down too far. Yep, there you go. A little bit more leg, but be ready to hold as you're speeding up because his head's coming sky high again. Yep. There you go. Good. Now stop him. Whoa. And then give him another break. Good job. Is this all making sense? It's a lot. It is. <laughs> yes, but that's what, when you see what he looks like, because I have the camera on. Oh. Yeah, when you see what he looks like, it's amazing. He's like this. Well, even when you were riding. Versus like I, this. Okay, I've not seen him. He looks gorgeous. Yes. He's, so he's got, you know, a lot of swing, but he's built nicely. He's not long and lanky. He doesn't look like a trippy horse or anything like that, because some of them are really pacey. He's not. You know, he's just doing it because he just didn't know better. Yeah. Me neither. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> so we'll try a little bit more this direction and then we're going to go the harder okay. way. So we're trying to make, I was trying to make it easier on you so he really understood because when we go to the right, it might start all over wow. again. Yeah. So if I'm going to be, I'm going to ask him to go faster but do i wait to do that till i get his head down so that we at least start out correct or yeah so his head doesn't have to be down like when you're halted and you're walking off in other words because that's you can in time but that's much harder right. so first i get them walking then i get their head down then i start adding more and more leg okay. and then once i get their flat walk and i go around once and i go okay he understands he's got it then i add more leg but his go-to is when you add more leg, he goes like this. He throws his head up and inverts. So as you add more leg, you're gonna have to pull like, no, don't do it. Keep your head down. And then once he keeps it down and he's got the gait, then you can release more. And if, if your timing is good, and that just takes practice, yeah. it will get better faster and faster and faster. If your timing, like sometimes you got it and sometimes you don't, then he doesn't know the answer, so it'll keep going oh he's good now he's bad oh he's good now he's bad but the only way to get it better is just keep practicing the the nice thing is the horses are forgiving we're not yeah. and he's <laughs> they do what intelligent yes he wants to do what's right but yes. if i don't know how to ask him then we both get confused that's right yes <laughs> so. so he's a very good horse he's not getting mad he's not yanking on the bit he's not rearing up like some of them try to do all that stuff yes so he's just got to know now my life is I go with my head down. That's great, yeah. But in time, he'll get more muscle on the top of his neck instead of underneath, yeah. All right, so try it again. When you're ready, walk off and then try to get your flat walk. When you think, and don't feel like this pass-fail test, but when you think you have the speed of the flat walk, say, I, this is my flat walk. Because the hardest part is knowing what speed to go, yeah. yes. And then I'll tell you faster, slower, or that's perfect, okay. yeah. Yeah, but you're doing good with your leg. You got your leg under you much better than you did before. Good job. Ooh, nice head shake. Do you think that's your flat walk? It is. Yep, you're doing good. So go around one more time. That's okay. As you talked, he thought you were relaxing and he he's really listening. He's like, oh, are we stopping? And you're just like, no, we're going to keep going. 
So the next time you go by the gate, then let's add more speed and we'll try to get him up in his running walk. But you're doing good keeping the speed. You, his head's shaking, you're moving back and forth in the saddle so we know we're doing it correctly. Yep. There he's getting a little slower. Yep. And just remember, when you think about adding speed, you're gonna take more contact because again, he's gonna try to throw his head up and run. So you wanna hold and push and make him drive with his back end. Pull harder. There you go. Yep, go boy. Good job. Yep, hold him again, that's okay. Every time he does it right, you keep going, but tell him he's being a good boy and he's doing the right thing. So now he's too slow, so just try it again. And it's hard, you're like, well, that was too much leg, so use just a little less or just a little cluck or, or just a little squeeze with your buttock. You, yeah, that's okay, you're going in and out of it. Pull harder, there you go. And then lean back just a tiny bit, yep. You got it. There he's too fast. Lift your hand up a little higher, lean back a little more, yep, keep trying. It's okay. So there you, you had it, but his head's a little too high. Now he's too slow. <laughs> You're like, oh my God, just shut up, gay. Yep, hold in, don't give in. Hold, lean back. Now, yep, now release a little, yep. So whatever you're doing to ask him to go, in his brain, it's too much. Okay. So again, if it was your legs, if you're like, I only touched him a tiny bit with my calves and this is what he's doing, then instead change it. Try to squeeze with your knees or your thighs or just tuck your butt and give a little squeeze that way and see if that gets more speed but doesn't make him jump up so fast. Okay, okay so try it again. So go to your flat walk first, get his head down, get his relaxed and then go up to your running walk. Good with his head. Yep, open your mouth, breathe as you're pulling. Yep, so deep, deep breath in, pull harder. Yep, there you go. And when he's going and he's not stopping, shove your feet out in front of you, lean back more. It'll make you stronger so you can pull harder to tell him that's the wrong answer. Okay. So now try and go a little faster. Go oh boy, that was it. Good job, a little slower. Lift your hand up, lean back, yep. And always remember, if he's getting fast, open your mouth and breathe. They won't feel it if you do it through your nose. Yep, try it again. Now he's a little distracted, so that's why his head's up. Good. A little slower. Yep, lift your hand a little bit. Yep, and try it again. A little slower. Slower, there you go. And then your leg, and that's the hard part. Once he slows down, we gotta push a little bit so he doesn't slow down too much. Try it again. Yeah, slower. Lean back, put your feet out in front of you. Open your mouth, breathe, now push. He likes the girls, because that's a girl. It's too much. That's better. Oh, too much. Lean back. Lift your hand a little. Yep, now your leg to push him forward again. Yeah. Slow down. Yep. So now as you're doing it, if you're using both legs, alternate your legs. See if that works, because he still keeps jumping up. So instead of squeezing with both, just squeeze with one leg, then the other. You're good. That's okay. He just tripped. You, that's okay, pull harder, feet out in front of you. Ah, 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 ah. Yep, then push. <laughs> That's okay. There you got it. Yeah, a little faster. So keep that. That's pretty good. It is faster. It's not all the way up there, but he's holding the speed. Yep. Now he's slowing down. A little more. Yep, now his head's coming up, so just be ready. Good, now he's gonna get distracted by the mare. So a little left rein, that's it. Then your leg. A little faster, just a tiny bit, and just think of push with one leg, then the other. One leg, then the other. Good job, slow down. 
You had it and then he goes past it, but that's okay. Yep, try it again. You got it, that's it, good boy. Yep, now he, he slowed down a little, but it's not bad. Uh, 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 uh. Yep, and I use that, you'll hear that in the videos, I just talk to the horses. So when they start going wrong, I'm like, uh, 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 don't do that. Yep, go a little faster, a little bit more. That's good, now, good. Yep, now stop him. So stop him and take a break. Wait for his head to come down always. <laughs> Forever now. Yep, and then he can sit on a loose rein. So we're gonna give him a break and then we're gonna go the other direction. Yeah. So it's better, you have it. It's just practicing it. And again, he keeps jumping forward. So you just gotta practice. No, we don't do that anymore. But the only way to do it is go forward, slow down, go forward, slow down. And you do it a thousand times till the horse goes, I got it, so I just go the speed. And you're like, yeah, there you go. Okay, that was great. Yes. But you're getting it, but it's, you know, it's hard. Yeah, it's all loose. Yes. <laughs> all right, so let's try going the other way. So you just go the other way and just walk the circle and try to keep his head down. But look up, yep, look where you wanna go. And then lift your right hand a little bit, there you go. So first just walk this speed and just work on his head. Cause again, it's a different direction. And now instead of bulging out, he's gonna cut in. Lift your hand a little higher. Yeah, and look where you wanna go. And if he won't go, pull one of your reins out and turn him. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> he has an agenda with that horse. He's like, hey, baby. So that looks good. Yep. Okay. So try to keep his head down, but now add a little speed and we'll go up to our flat walk. Good with his head. Very pretty. Yep. That's pretty good. Now, as you get closer to that mare, you start pushing on him because he, he's going to want to stop and talk to her. So keep pushing. Yup. You can use one leg, then the other. Good job. Good. He didn't even look at her. So you did a great job and very nice turns. You're steering very nicely. Yep. So now at a little bit more speed, you might have to clock. And just remember if his head's coming up, hold, but kind of dig with your right leg also if his head comes up. Hold. There you go. Yep. That's your flat one. Good. Now keep that. He got a little slower, so just a tiny bit faster. Uh, uh, yep, yeah, there you go, good. A Little bit more. It's hard, it's like finding the sweet, sweet spot. And this is the hard part about gated horses is they go like a thousand different speeds. That's beautiful, just keep that. It's easy, just keep it. <laughs> You're doing good. Yeah, see it? I finally shut up. Good. When you pass the gate, we'll try to go a little faster, but you're doing very nicely. So remember, as you try to add speed, his head's probably going to come up. So you want to start holding and pushing. Good with his head, just a little more speed. Right there's good. Good job, yep. Now he's gonna probably get slower, so remember to start pushing at the horse and the gate. Bring his head a little lower. So hold, but push with your leg or clock. Good job, and then release, good job, yep. Keep going. Yep, get his attention back on you because he's browsing. Good job, yep. So at times your right hand will drop, which you'll see in the video, it's okay because you're actually compensating for some of the stuff he's doing. 
but you know people will watch and not understand but again if the horse is getting crooked and stuff sometimes you got to bring your hand in different places that was very nice yep that's good yep now he's distracted so just get his attention back on you bring his head just a little lower as that horse goes by and a tiny bit more leg You're doing good. You did very good. So he sped up a little bit. He did more of a little running walk, but then he went past it in two steps and you slowed him back down. So that was good. Yep, so bring his head a little bit lower. There you go, that's good. Now stop, because that's beautiful. Yep, and give him a break, tell him he was doing the right thing. But just remember, when you stop, try to get his head down more. It's okay, because I was talking and I didn't tell you and you got a thousand things to remember. So we'll give him a minute and then we'll try it again and then we'll quit soon, because I know it's exhausting. You're doing really good though. It's so much better. Yeah. 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 But it's hard, they're all different to ride. So it's good he kept his head up because then I got on and I could feel he was cutting to the right. Otherwise I couldn't have told you that because from just watching you, I don't see it. So it's helpful, you know, to get on and you can feel it. Yep. Yeah, he tries, you know, he's got a good mind and he tries. He does. Yes, but that's okay. You know, he may never have had that in his life. Or maybe he did when he was four and then everybody else rode him with his head up. So he goes, oh, I kind of remember. Or he's just a nice boy. Yes. Okay, so try it again. Try to go back up to your flat walk first. But this is good. Even as you're starting off, his head isn't going sky high anymore. You keep working on it, I'm just gonna talk. So just once you know, once he's good and he can put his head down or up and you can hold the gate, like he can gate with his head this high or it can be lower. We just don't want it way where it was. Okay. Um, they will shake their head more when their head is up a little bit. And that means you'll also get more back and forth motion in the saddle. Some people like that and some people don't because it rubs. So as you're out there, You'll get more of it with their flat walk versus their running walk. But if you're like, I'm getting a lot of motion in this saddle and I don't like it, then bring their head lower and you won't get as much of it. And then you can always tilt in your thigh too, so that way it doesn't rub your hind end. Okay, so he's good with his head. Let's try and go a little faster. But remember, you'll probably have to hold contact so he understands not to pick his head up. A little slower. Right there is good. Yep. Now leg, 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 leg. <laughs> you had it. It's hard. It's getting it and then keeping it and not having it go too slow. Now he slowed down a little bit too much. Right there. At, 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 at slower. That's okay. That mare was, I just stay a little farther away because she acted like she was going to kick the fence. And he's like, you're going to kick me. That's good. Yep. Very nice, keep going. Cause you get a couple steps, then he, sl he either slows down or speeds up. So you just gotta see what she's doing. So go a little faster. And then again, just stay a little bit farther away from her. Good, and go faster. Be ready to hold with your reins as you're asking for the speed. Keep going. Good job. Now stop for a second because that was the right thing and wait for his head to go down. Good. Yep. So give him like 20 seconds and then go right back off again. He's like, it's much easier to swing my legs than put them down. Yep. So go once around and then try to start picking up speed again. Yes. Good. Yep.
Good, so now start adding more speed, but keep his head there or lower. Don't let it go any higher. That's good. That's good. Now he's slowing down by the mirror, so a little more leg. Good, really good. That was great, yep. Now he slowed down again. That's it, good. Yeah. Good, now I would stop. Oh, and then get his head down. Good, and then I would quit with that because that was really good, especially for his bad direction. Yeah, you, you did great.